Hi, in this video, I will show you how to update a record in database when we tap on a list view item and show the updated result in our list view. So let's get started. Open Android Studio and open the last created project. First, let's create the activity for the edit operation. Go to RES, Layout, right click on it, New, Layout Resource File. I am going to name it Activity underscore Edit underscore Contact. For root element, I will select Linear Layout. Click OK. Now inside that I will give a padding of 16 TP. Now create a text view for activity title. Text view for layout underscore width wrap content and for layout underscore height wrap content. And I want this to be center aligned so layout underscore gravity center horizontal I will give some margin bottom of 16 dp for text I will write contact details you can write this text inside strings.xml file for simplicity I am writing here for text size I am using 24 SP. Create a text view for name. Text view, wrap content, wrap content. Margin bottom, again 16 dp. For text, I will use name. And for text size, I will use 32 SP. I will use this text view to display the contact name. Next, create an edit text for showing and updating the email. So write edit text, wrap content, wrap content. For margin bottom, again 16 TP for text or you can use hint email and I will give id at plus id for a slash et email. Next create a button for saving button for text save and inside the on click attribute I will give the method name that I will define in Java press ctrl alt L to format the code I will give ID for the name id at plus id forward slash tv for text view name check the design go to code for this edit text write match parent for layout underscore width Check the design again. All right. Next, we will create an activity which will show this XML file. Right click on package, new, Java class, and I will name it edit contact activity. Which will extend
app compact activity right on create and right after the super call set the content view for this activity so call set content view right r dot layout dot activity underscore edit underscore contact that is the xml file that we have created just now in the class scope declare a text view and an edit text object reference text view tv name edit text et email declare id for storing database row id long id now go to main activity dot java and get the email from cursor string email equals to cursor dot get string for the column index of email it should be 2 because email is the third column now we will create an intent object to launch edit contact activity so write intent intent equals to new intent for package context write main activity dot this edit contact activity dot class put the item values into intent as key value pairs write intent dot put extra for name write id and for value write id here is the value that we are getting here intent dot put extra name name intent dot put extra email and for value email next start activity using the intent start activity intent and finish the current activity by calling finish method next go to edit contact activity dot java get the extras from intent using the key we set so write id equals to get intent dot get extras dot get long and pass the key which is id that we have set from here here is the keys and we need to pass here the same key and string name equals to I'm just going to copy this line and paste below and this should be string and the key should be name just copy this and paste below this should be email and the key should be email next get the handles for text view and edit text tb name equals to find view by id r dot id dot tb name et email equals to find view by id r dot id 
dot et email set values for these views tv name dot set text and pass the name that we have received from intent et email dot set text and pass the email that we have received from intent next we are going to implement the edit contact method so write public void edit contact which takes a view argument here we need to receive the edit text content so write string email equals to et email dot get text which gives an object so we need to call to string method to convert it into string then call update email new method and pass the id and email we will define this method later and also we need to go to main activity dot java and change the database adapter object to static so that we can access it from edit contact dot java so write by using the class name main activity dot database adapter dot update email new and I will pass ID and email press alt enter and select create method update email new in database adapter now define update email new to run update query and return the number of rows affected first define a content values object content values content values equals to new content values put the database column name and the new value for email to update content values dot put database helper dot key underscore email comma email define the where adds string array this is like the right side of equal to of where clause in SQL statement string where args equals to within curly brace we need to convert the id to string as well so write like this within double quotes plus that is concatenate id next call update method on sqlite database object which returns the number of rows affected int count equals to db dot update here write the table name database helper dot table underscore name pass the content values for the where clause write database helper dot key underscore row id plus concatenate that with equals to question mark and for where args pass our where args then return the count if we need it you can use it in caller method return count and change the return type to int don't forget to add the activity in manifest 
control c control v just remove the intent filter tag and here write edit contact activity starting with a dot next go to edit contact dot activity and here start main activity with an intent so write start activity new intent pass edit contact activity dot this comma main activity dot class finish the current activity by calling finish method let's run the app to check the output as you can see our list view is showing as usual and if i click a list item it goes to edit contact activity where we can see the title the name and the email and a save button let's change the email to something like sandeep.bhattacharya16 at gmail.com and click the save button here as you can see it goes back to the main activity where the new updated email is being shown thanks for watching if you find this tutorial useful please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this